as we get older, uh, it's harder to control our weight. And just like people, mice also have this problem with midlife obesity. We began our study of midlife obesity uh, when Xi Bing uh, made a remarkable finding shortly after he came to UCSF uh, to begin his uh, postdoctoral research. Xi Bing was looking into the regulation of voltage-gated potassium channels by mTOR, the kinase known as mammalian target of rapamycin. And he noticed mTOR signaling uh, is much higher in a particular type of hypothalamic neurons in old mice. Xi Bing followed up this observation and found the elevated mTOR signaling in those hypothalamic neurons caused upregulation of ATP-sensitive potassium channels, or KATP. And this resulted in the reduction of release of anorexic peptides and compromise energy homeostasis in old mice. My name is Shibin Yang. I'm a postdoc at Lily James Lab at the Physiology Department at UCSF. And today I'm going to tell you a story about amylite obesity. As you can see from the body weight chart on the top, uh, we humans keep gaining weight as we age. And uh, very similar, the mouse also gain weight as they age. And uh, on the right, you can see this is old mouse with a big belly. And on the, on the left, it's a young. Um, energetic mouse. Our brain um, does not produce any energy, but it consumes more than 20% of the total energy. And the energy source is controlled uh, by f food intake and uh, metabolism. So the hypothalamus is uh, the uh, food intake and the me met metabolism control center. The hypothalamus is structurally conserved uh, in mammals. As you can see that um, from the left, the human brain, and from the right, the mouse brain. And uh, the, arc, the hypothalamic arcuonucleus is the, the feeding center within the, the hypothalamus. In the arcuonucleus, there are two major neurons that uh, control the feedings. As you can see that the POMC neurons uh, inhibit the feedings by secreting the anorexic peptide alpha MSH. And MPY HRP neurons stimulate feedings by secreting the orexigenic peptides such as MPY and HRP. So, um, is it possible that the aging induced change in those neurons cause age dependent obesity? To direct answer these questions, I perform uh, electrophysiology recordings from young and old uh, neurons in hypothalamus. I found um, in one month old POMC neurons, actually they had uh, repetitive action potential firings. And uh, in 12 months old, however, the action potential number is dramatically reduced and the membrane potential is, is hyperpolarized. And the lower part, you can see the summary of membrane potentials and the action potential firings from different age of uh, mice. And in older mice, actually, the membrane potentials are gradually reduced and the action potentials are uh, reduced. The, firing ac the action potential firing frequency is also reduced. So the PS3 mTOR pathway is the signaling pathway which mediates agents. And uh, the PS3 mTOR pathway can be activated by nutrients and the hormones. I found that in older POMC neurons, there's an increase of mTOR activity, as you can see from the amino staining here, that in older POMC neurons, there's a higher percentage of colocalization of phosphor X6, which is a mTOR activity readout uh, to the POMC JP signal. If I mimicked the high mTOR activity by deleting the TSC, the mTOR inhibitor, by uh, Creflux genetics, indeed, I can reproduce the obese phenotype in young mice. As you can see in the picture here, that the homozygo uh, TSC knockout actually they had a double the body weight than the uh, heterozygo liter mate. And most strikingly, when I did recording from the neurons, the POMC neurons, actually 
the POMC neurons from homozygous um, POMC TSC knockout actually they had the hyperpolarized member potential and reduced the firing pattern, which is similar to the older mice. And this silencing is due to increase of KDB current. So the next experiment I did was I inhibit the mTOR by uh, in vivo pharmacology. I infused the rapamycin, which is an mTOR inhibitor, into the mouse brain, actually uh, caused the body weight loss, as you can see from the body weight chart here. And uh, this reduction of body weight could be caused by in, uh, reduced of food intake. And rapamycin treatment also restored the actual potential firing in old POMC neurons, as you can see from the recording chart here. Um, this reverse of um, action potential is due to the um, decrease of KTP currents in, in rapamycin-treated mice. In summary, I found that age-dependent obesity is associated with increased mTOR signals in POMC neurons, and this increased mTOR upregulates the KTP channels to silence the POMC neurons. And rapamycin actually uh, restored th th this uh, neuronal excitabilities and uh, reduced food intake and um, reduced the body weight in old mice. Thank you. Xi Bing's findings have helped us appreciate the neural basis of midlife obesity.